Hello everyone, my name is Axel and I like to build stuff. In this video, I'll be putting the turbine I showcased in the last video to the test. And to all those naysayers who might comment, Oh, the turbine didn't reach 12,000 RPMs, oh, you're a liar, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. I just happened to get a laser tachometer after I released the last video and I tested it at 50 PSI. Just with this small amount of pressure, I was able to get 17,000 RPM out of this turbine. So with its insane RPM, I think I should build a generator out of it. So with this in mind, I printed a coupler for the turbine and a motor mount for the 6 volt brushed motor. After inserting the generator and removing all the wires, I connected the coupler to the motor and the turbine was ready for a test. Alrighty, so I'm out in my garage, not my friend's garage, and uh... I've got a GoPro rolling on the multimeter, and I've got 50 PSI in the compressor. I want to see how much power this has with this little 6 volt brushless motor. And... Oh. Okay. Okay, so... The turbine, it looks like the motor, the coupler between the motor and the turbine are not quite fully balanced. So if I put any pressure down, it will not rev up. We're at just about one volt right now. Okay, so one volt at 50 PSI is not optimal. I'm gonna go pump up the compressor. All right, so that's 75 PSI. Let's see if uh, this turbine will produce any more than just one volt. So the highest I read was 1.7 and the problem is just finding the sweet spot in the coupler. Okay, I only read 1.5 that time. And uh, for comparison, if I just disconnect the motor real quick, this is how high the thing revs. Yeah, so that, that motor is not liking to spin up very high. Um, but we did get two volts out of it, which is pretty cool. Um, so, this is not a very good generator, so what else could it be? So two volts isn't a lot. It can't even power a small LED. So I moved on to, instead of using a 60 millimeter turbine, I upgraded to this behemoth. I call it the APT, or the Air Powered Turbine. It uses the same principle of using compressed air to spin a turbine along an axle, but instead of coupled to a generator, it is coupled directly to a propeller to hopefully produce some thrust. But since the propeller itself is 120 millimeters, I needed way more torque than the normal turbine can produce. So, I designed it with three small turbines with a compressor style blade design to increase overall surface area, increasing the torque. So after printing all the parts and giving it a sickish paint job, I got to assembling in this 45 second build montage.
with the APT fully assembled, I got the tachometer and I got the compressor up to 50 PSI and it was time to test this behemoth. Okay, so uh, I don't have my hat on today, sadly, but um, I do have the compressor jet engine right there. And uh, yeah, since it's a lot bigger and it should have a lot more torque, I'm gonna do the first test at 50 PSI. All right, 50 PSI test. Got the second camera rolling. All righty. Three, two, one. So, it does not spin nearly as fast. I think that just might be because um, it's a lot bigger and I actually painted it this time. So, uh, the bearings are not quite as lubricated as they normally are. But, um, yeah, uh, let's do 100 PSI. Alrighty, so I have the compressor. At 75 PSI, not 100, because I kind of want to see if there's any difference between them. I have the tachometer right here, and uh, yeah, let's let's give this one a test. Got a piece of steel bar to hold that down. Surprisingly, um, I got 21,000 RPM. Holy crap, this thing does not make a lot of noise. Uh, I'm going to test that again. Okay, yeah, 21,000 RPM was not. Now, I got 3,700. Zionist on that one, so, uh... Yeah, um, I don't know how much thrust it produces, so I'll test that later. Alrighty, so this time I actually have my hat. I got some yarn and some tape. I have an extra camera rolling this time. And uh, time to do the thrust test at 100 PSI. 100 PSI, here we go. Alright, so what it looks like was, here, the max RPM, well, it didn't record the max RPM accurately, but, um, it looks like the, um, like the thrust output was actually coming out in like a swirl, um, because if you saw the, the very far, uh, left string, was it was constantly almost spiraling like up and over and up and over and then the left one was constantly going down so I think what's happening is that the air is going in through uh, the inlet it's circling like maybe once or twice and then it just gets ejected straight out the back and that's where majority of thrust comes out so and then of course the propeller just stirs up some turbulent air and throws it out the back. So, this time I'm just gonna spin it straight at the prop, and uh, it's all—it's an RPM test as well as uh, seeing if the thrust increases at any point. Okay, so um, I think the reason why this thing is not so accurate, because if I look at the max, 31,000 is not accurate at all, because my last turbine didn't go that fast uh, at that same pressure. So 
I think what's happening is I put the tape, the reflective tape, on one of the blades, and so the IR kind of like comes off. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just a high school kid with uh, little building skills, but um, I think the infrared comes up, and only a small amount actually goes back in, but majority of the actual IR gets reflected back. But maybe since it's, I don't, I don't know. I'm just talking nonsense right now. But, um, I think the most average speed on that thing was about 7,000 RPM versus 5,000 RPM uh, on the turbines. So, uh, yeah. This is not an efficient way of creating thrust. It, it would probably just be more efficient to, uh, like duct tape the end of this to something I don't know but um yeah let's go sum up this project <laughs> so the APT didn't produce much thrust and the generator didn't produce enough power to power anything besides maybe a small LED which is uh, kinda useless but um I'm hoping you guys uh, really enjoy this project and if you guys feel like it please comment down below an idea for the new year. I, I really want to incorporate your guys' project ideas uh, in 2021. And uh, if you really enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or sharing. And uh, please consider subscribing because these projects take a lot of time and they aren't that cheap. And with that, I really enjoyed this project. I hope you did too, even though it failed. <laughs> and I thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas.